video is about the tomato caterpillar or tomato worm and uh, they hide themselves just under the leaves of the tomato as they burrow in and they eat the inside of the tomato and if we cut this one open you can see that he's, uh, he's uh, getting good feed and uh, there he is there of course he gets a lot bigger than that but that's where he sort of starts off with and if we look at the life cycle of this tomato caterpillar it starts off with uh, little white eggs above the flowers and then gets into the tomato and um, eventually moves down to the ground and becomes a moth. So all we're using is a curtain material which is a fine mesh, finer than the mosquito mesh and we're cutting it into a size about one foot by one foot two inches or 30 by 36 centimeters. Then we fold it in half Fold it in half again and cut a half vase shape. Notice it's quite wide because uh, when we when the tomato is in there it's going to take up a fair space in the middle once it fills out. So now what we're going to do is sew the one side of that vase shape. First we start with reverse sewing to um, lock the thread so it doesn't come undone and then we simply go around the outline making sure we're getting both layers of the material and um, sewing it it's not too critical how close you go but you don't you're trying to make it as big as possible without it actually um, missing out on one side of the material and we're going halfway and then we're going to stop and reverse uh, reverse the machine so that we um, can cut the thread off. The reason we do this is because we're going to put a rope across the top and we want to do that in one, one piece. So you can see here half, half of it is done and half of it isn't sewn. Now we're going to do the top piece. We've towed a knot on the nylon and we've laid it across the top and we're using a special foot that can get close to the rope. Okay, you should have that in your sewing machine. Um, makes it uh, a nice tidy stitch and doing it this way saves you um, having to thread it through here you can see we're moving from one side or one piece of material across to the other the back piece okay so it's one continuous um, sew across the top getting towards the end and uh, once again we're going to stop and reverse before we cut off the thread. And this is what it looks like. Okay we've got one side stitched and we've got the top stitched all the way across. You can see that the other side is still unstitched that enabled us to do that sewing across the top in one piece. Then we're going to cut off the rope the remaining rope and uh, put a knot in it as well so it doesn't come unraveled otherwise it would be very painful to put it back in again then we're going to sew from the top down which is important make sure we don't reverse sew onto the rope and uh, complete the other side the reason we're going top down is to make sure that they those two ropes are um, they're nice and close together. There we go, and then uh, probably not critical, but I, I went around until I um, met up with the other stitching just to make sure nobody sneaks in between the, the stitches. Reverse stitch and cut off. Now we can see that it's stitched all the way around, the top stitched. All we have to do is uh, we're going to clean off the edge of the rope first. So we just put a flame just briefly across those frayed ends and they uh, seal up quite nicely for the nylon cord 
we're using nylon cord here and now we're going to turn it inside out you can see I'm doing it with one hand because the other one I'm holding the iPhone which is recording this video so there it is very tidy very neat wrap across the top there and uh, now we're going to put it across our tomato there's our tomato thread it around and we tie an overhand um, knot so that we can tighten it up and uh, stop anything creeping down the, the branch the stem into the tomato there's the overhand knot and we're going to simply pull that tight so there's like a snug fit around the stem so it looks something like that it's pretty hard to actually damage it so you can do it fairly tight and that's what it looks like when you've done all your tomatoes now you could use it for other things maybe you could stop fruit flies and things like that um, but I think it's pretty tough to, for any insect to get through that let us know how you go um, when you do it if if it was successful or not and uh, that would be great if you could leave a comment